So, um, EJ, you're a dress historian. So you, more than anyone, must know the power of how we present ourselves. It fundamentally constructs our identity. I am so deeply aware how important my clothes are to constructing my masculine identity that the thought of wearing women's clothes petrifies me. And what do you think it is about them? It makes me the wrong gender. I knew of an otherness within myself from a very young age, but I didn't know what it was then. But I knew that something wasn't sitting with me correctly. I don't yeah. fall into that stereotypical story, you know, didn't know any other trans people, so w went through a queer life to get to that place. Um, but it when you say you went through a queer life, what do you mean? Oh, I was you a little, I was a little butch dyke, yeah. yeah. So I ran away to Tokyo, and there I could be an untransitioned man who was short, who didn't have facial hair, which fit in very well with the Japanese culture and Japanese men my age. When I did start transitioning, going through puberty as an adult is the strangest thing in the world. I lost my relationship, I lost my career, I lost everything. The surgery is horrific. So all those sort of side effects have a huge emotional impact. But I'm whinging. <laughs> yeah, what's, yeah, what's right? the upside then? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> So what, are they, what, what have been for you, do you think, were, were kind of milestones when you thought, yes, this is really working? Probably one of the single happiest days of my life was when I was able to wear a T-shirt after surgery yeah. and go swimming. I wasn't able to go in the water for 10 years. Got a lot of Australian in me. <laughs> <laughs> so when was the last time you tried on a dress? Probably when I was at school. Yeah. And I, re I rejected it when I was a kid. I was like, no way am I wearing that, Mum. I am not going out of the house. Kicking tantrums. It's been a massive part of defining who I am. It, by not wearing a dress. The dress. The dress. It's that centre stage femininity, male gaze. It scares the living daylights out of me. And maybe that's something I need to address. Am I part of the problem of perpetuating masculine stereotypes? Because it is just a dress. Right? It's, it's a frock. Trans is challenging something very, very basic about being human. What for you was the riskiest part of your journey? Gender is still a journey for me. Trans people are so extraordinary. There's a lot of interesting space in between. Seeing both sides of that gender spectrum is a really unique thing to have the privilege to do.